Do you know what really sucks? Is sitting down to edit your project and realizing that you have gaps in your coverage or shots missing? You need to have a really good, specific, and detailed shot list. Head over to filmmakersecrets.com slash shot list, S-H-O-T-L-I-S-T, to get a killer shot list template along with some training where I show you step-by-step exactly how to use it. What you're doing is filled with purpose and it is your true identity. This is who you are. This is what you want to do for the rest of your life. This is what's going to give you true fulfillment. Filmmakers have the power to evoke emotion, inspire thought, and drive universal change in this world. Right now, a real seismic shift is happening in the film industry. This is your best chance to join a new filmmaking movement. You have been called to create an everlasting impact with your unmatched, deep desire to tell authentic stories. So how does a filmmaker thrive in an environment that is almost intentionally designed to bring you down? That is the question, and this podcast reveals the answer. What's happening, filmmakers? It's George VK. Welcome to Filmmaker Secrets Podcast, episode number 24. I hope you're doing well really, really well. I hope you're doing amazing. I'm doing pretty well myself. I have been hanging out on Clubhouse for the past couple of days, and I got to tell you, the first time I opened up the app, I didn't understand it. I just didn't get it. But over the last few days, I've been kind of getting addicted. It's some, some of the rooms that you walk into can just be so insightful and just filled with amazing people, amazing panelists. So for those that don't know Clubhouse, it's the new social media app and it's audio only. So there are different rooms, different clubs that people start up and you can join these rooms. You can uh, either be on the stage where people are actually speaking, metaphorically speaking, of course, and Or you can be in the audience just listening, and you can always raise your hand if you're in the audience to be brought up on stage so that you can ask a question or contribute to the conversation. And let me tell you, some of the people hanging out on Clubhouse right now, because it's only invite, invite only, are some of the top people in the industry, whatever industry that you're in, but you know, Obviously, this is a filmmaking podcast, so I have been geeking out on all the filmmaking-related rooms on Clubhouse, and the insight and the experience and the overall community of filmmakers on Clubhouse is just amazing. So I started my own club, and the name of it is, can you guess, Filmmaker Secrets. So if you do not have a Clubhouse account yet, I believe they will be opening up the app to the public so it'll be, you know, open to everybody. You don't have to have someone invite you on the app in order to create an account, which is awesome. But I know that they have been experiencing some server issues because sometimes I haven't been able to invite people up on stage when they raise their hand. Sometimes the app crashes, you have to restart leave a room, come back in. Anyway, if you do not have an account or anybody with an invite, hit me up. Uh, DM on Instagram, filmmaker.secrets. I believe I have about seven invites left. I would love for you to join Filmmaker Secrets Club. And on that note, it's Monday right now, May 31st. Tomorrow is June 1st, which is to me, the first day of summer because it's June, July, August. But I digress. Next, let's see, when is it? Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, I will be opening up a room on the Filmmaker Secrets Clubhouse Club all about the future of filmmaking and how to thrive as a storyteller. So I'm hoping to get some of my amazing filmmaker friends, co-workers, uh, peers to jump on the panel and discuss this topic of, you know, this ever-changing environment of this filmmaking world 
and how we can adapt and pivot to these to this ever changing um, state of the industry in order to really thrive and be not just survive, you know, not just get by, but actually make it a worthwhile career filled with purpose and intentionality and just absolute joy in what you're doing. That's the most important thing. You know, you got to get the fulfillment out of what it is that you're trying to achieve. I've been listening to a lot of Tony Robbins lately, and for the longest time, I refused because I always looked at him as one of those, you know, hoity-toity motivational speakers that are just always over the top, and it, it just wasn't my thing. But then, uh, a few months back, um, I decided to pop up one of his presentations that were, that it was very business related and, and very much um, speaking to entrepreneurs that are having these little roadblocks or, you know, whatever is stopping them, getting them stuck in their businesses. And so he talks about the concept of there's the science of achievement and then there's the art of fulfillment. So the science of achievement part is basically you going out there and testing all the different things that you need to do in your business, see what works, see what doesn't, optimize, reorganize, and then, you know, keep failing and keep going forward, learning from your mistakes, so on and so forth, the science of achievement. And then the art of fulfillment is actually knowing that what you're doing is filled with purpose and it is your true identity. This is who you are. This is what you want to do for the rest of your life. This is what's going to give you true fulfillment. And that is the piece that I think a lot of people miss out on because they get complacent or apathetic about their situation in life. And they're just not getting that fulfillment out of what it is that they do that pays the bills. Even if you have, you know, a, a super high salary and you start telling yourself the story of this is what's paying the bills. I should be happy for, you know, where I'm at in life. I should be grateful for what I do have. I shouldn't be shooting for the moon. And I say shut that voice down because... The most important thing in life, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions, is the fulfillment you get from what it is that you do. So take those words and think about them and really consider what it is that's really important to you in your life, what's going to give you that fulfillment. So hopefully that was helpful. Filmmakers, thank you so much for listening. This is going to be a bit of a short one. Uh, please, if you haven't had the chance yet, go check out my Storytelling Secrets workshop over at FilmmakerSecrets.com slash story. Uh, I love you. I care about you. I want you to really take your filmmaking power into full throttle. Because remember, filmmakers have the power to evoke emotion, inspire thought, but most importantly, drive universal change in this world. And that is the power that you need to take full control of. All right, filmmakers, until next time, I'll catch you later. If you like that, then you are going to love my Cine Racing Challenge. This is a seven-day filmmaking competition where your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to write shoot and edit a short 60 second film in just seven days for your one chance to win with over ten thousand dollars in prizes so head over to cineracing.com that's c-i-n-e-r-a-c-i-n-g.com to get registered spots are filling up fast and the timer is ticking before the next cine racing challenge launches so be sure to head over to cineracing.com right now to get registered. I'll see you over there.